and welcome to Pixel Data, the channel where I take a look at AI from a human perspective. And for the last couple of weeks, we have talked about methods where AI can help us in our video production. And this week, we are talking titles and thumbnails. I did a live stream on Monday where I talked of the power of the thumbnail and the title together. But today we are focusing only on the thumbnail. And we are going to take a look at five or six different AI tools that we can use in Canva when it comes to creating great thumbnails. But before we do that, let's take a general look of five important things when it comes to create thumbnails. Number one, make sure they are visible on your mobile device. Number two is clarity. Don't put the kitchen sink and everything else in your thumbnail. Remember, it will be very small on a mobile phone. So make it clear what is in the thumbnail. Number three is relevant. The thumbnail should attract people. It should catch someone's eye. But it has to be relevant to the content of your video. Then we have simplicity. Make it easy for a viewer to understand what the video is about. Don't overcrowd it and don't put your title in your thumbnail. Remember that they are a power cup. And the maybe hardest part, it should be attractive. That comes down to things like high resolution images, color combination that really makes certain things stand out. And with that said, I think it's time to move over to my computer. So here we are on my camera. I have already opened an empty thumbnail for YouTube, which is 1280 by 720. And before we start to look at the AI tools themselves, let me just show you a couple of things that you might oversee when you're working in camera. And here I am in design under template. We can always look at these to get inspiration. But what is maybe more important is to look at styles. Here we have what they call combinations. And if I click see all, you see it is color palettes combined with usable font sizes. So this is where you can get your inspiration for color and font use. But enough of that. Let's go down on the left hand side to apps. Some of the apps and functions I'm going to show today are for pro users. And if they are, I will tell you so. But the first one is not a pro function and it's called Magic Media. So if I search for Magic Media here, it's the first app that comes up. And what this is, is a text to image or text to video function. What we are going to do here is create an image that we are going to use for our thumbnail. An AI robot sitting at his laptop working on editing videos. The room is a typical home office with light, bright furniture. And we can choose a style. In this case, I'm going to choose filmic, I think. We can choose an aspect ratio. And since it is for a thumbnail, I'm choosing landscape and generate image. This will take a little while, but I will cut until our four examples are done. And here we have our examples. Let's take a look. at. I actually think I'm going to use 
the first one. But as you see, we can generate again if we aren't happy with any of them. So that was step one. Generate our image in magic media. Step number two. We are going to enlarge this a little bit. But you see, it is in the format 3 by 2 So it doesn't really fit our thumbnail size so we mark it and go up to edit photo and here we have the magic studio as you can see this little crown on some of them means it's a pro feature we are going to use a pro feature in this case magic expand and what that will do it is what it will create the rest of the image we can choose free form, whole page, one by one, and different format here. So we are going to choose the whole page and click Magic Expand. And again, I will do a cut while it's working. And now it is done. And we have again four different suggestions here. We will go forward with this one. The third tool we are going to use. Once again, we mark it and say edit photo. It's a free tool. It's the magic edit. So we click on that. And right now it looks like it's not expanded all the way, but we don't have to worry about that. What I want to do, I am going to mark this flower by continue and Make this a vase of red roses. As you can see down at the bottom here, it says magic eraser may be a better option for this. That is a pro function. So let's see how it looked in any of these. Let's go with this one. So now we have red roses back, back there, but let's go to magic erase and as i said this is a pro function what we want to do here is just erase this rose that is okay i believe the next tool we are going to talk about is another of their pro tools and that is magic grab and what it did it's let me explain it like this it divided the image in two images the foreground the one part that we see and the background and you see this little frame around so this is what is picked out here. if i just want to move something here in the image and still have the same background i can resize things and i can move what was the foreground of the image. Now, along the lines of magic grab, we have another tool. And for this, I have dragged in a little image where we have the Filmora and the Filmora symbol. And that is grab text. So if you have an image with text and you want to grab that text, let me grab that now. Let me change the color can delete that now i have the word that i need so those are the ai tools in canva that i believe can help you become more creative when it comes to create thumbnails if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions about other AI tools that I can create tutorials about, please leave that in the comments down below. And as always, stay curious, stay informed, and be part of the change. Bye!